Hello, my name is Joshua Thompson. I'm here today with uh, Blue Collar Training Network, and I want to do a quick uh, t have a quick discussion about some basic uh, misconceptions and some rules that go along with your typical grab hooks that you're going to see a lot of the chain that we use in the fire industry today. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's grade 70, 80, 100, based on what you're using it for. There are some rules and regulations that go along with that, and we're not going to dive into that today. What I want to talk to you about is just the basic concepts of how these hooks work, these particular grab hooks, because we do have them and we so frequently in the fire service. Some things about the grab hook that people might not realize is the uh, the great ability for this grab hook is that it is very adjustable and has it gives us the ability to uh, kind of take any point on this chain and make a connection into that link to give us something to pull against or hook itself in and shorten it or lengthen it based on what we need. One thing that we need to realize though is based if we are in a situation where we are heavily relying on the capacity of this chain dealing with some heavy lifts or some heavy loads then anytime we put a uh, a link into this grab hook and it bites back on itself like that we're actually creating a choke on this on this chain and we're going to lose 25 percent of its rated capacity so that's important to know another good thing to understand is we need to understand some uh some rules about stored energy and kinetic energy and how those stored energy in this hook once it becomes kinetic when this hook uh, fails what that energy is going to, when it releases, what it's going to do and where this chain is going to go for our own protection. And how this works is we need to understand that this hook isn't going to just catastrophically fail and break and come apart. What's going to happen is this hook is going to elongate. It's going to start opening up in the throat of the hook in here. This hook is going to start opening this way. So by having it configured to the chain, the grab hook is down. Now when this throat opens up and that chain fails and all that stored energy becomes kinetic, it is now driving itself low and back to the ground, not up and back at us for a potential uh, ha hazard or injury. Um, some things, I know there have been some things in the past, people like to put them vertically like this, so when they walk away, they don't have to worry about it falling out, they don't have to sit there and hold it. So uh, you can mouse it off with some um, some uh, duct tape or something like that. A lot of people like to tape them off to hold them in place. That's a real quick option. I understand on a rescue incident, greeting some, uh, getting some duct tape and trying to tape these things up on a quick uh, emergency scene isn't all that uh, plausible. So just, we gotta weigh some of the risk versus the rewards with that. But you can just sit there and hold it in place, but it is good practice. Try to have the hook facing down so we don't have to worry about those things. All right. And, that's all I have for you today. Thank you.